viewers, this is Evelyn Selena Show. Welcome back. We are delighted to have you here. If you are new to this channel, please ensure to subscribe, hit the notification button, and uh, if you love this content, please press the thumbs up so that we are able to reach out to as many people as possible. Today here, we are joined in by Vincent Chiriot, a renowned agronomist, and today we will be speaking about matters crop nutrition. Mr. Vincent, Karibu Sana, I want you to take us through crop nutrition. Of course, I've had a lot of people talking about um, they want a lot of clarification on crop nutrition. Uh, I know you've had a lot of experience in crop production, crop nutrition, crop protection. So today I want you to take us through crop nutrition. Karibu Sana. Okay, Sante. Mm. Uh, as you've heard, uh, I'm Vincent Chiriot. Farmers are really, they are really thirsting for knowledge. They want knowledge. And that is what, what they lack. Let's start step by step. Farmers normally, when they are planting, they use what we call diammonium phosphate. They require phosphorus. Okay? Yeah. Now we are starting. Eh? I hope I'm taking you step by step. Yes. Now we are planting. When you plant, of course, of course, there are factors that you have to consider. Like you have to, the soil should be, should be good. Yeah. Okay, there are basic factors that are, should remain constant. Eh? Seeds, good seeds. Number two, the soil, conducive. Number three, there should be water. Okay. Yeah. So those are the basic factors that we need to consider as a farmer. Okay? Yeah. So, if you have all those factors constant, okay, you should, uh, you now come to plant. So, when you plant, um, put your crop, of course, you blow the land and do the land preparation and do everything. When you start planting, the moment you plant, you use what we call Farmers use the soil fertilizers. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is the ammonia phosphorus. Yes. So, which is high in phosphorus. So, phosphorus. Okay. So, after you have planted your crop with phosphorus, of course. Uh, we have other farmers that uh, begin their planting with NPK. NPK. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. It depends. That is why I said eh? it depends on your soil. Yeah. Yes. When you take for, when, when when you take your soil for for tests, mm -hmm. okay, it depends with the outcome. Okay. So for a farmer will know my soil is uh, doesn't have this and this and this nutrient. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's after soil so, sampling that yes. is determined whether you're going to use whether you're going NPK to use NPK or, or you're going to use the DAP or okay. whatever else advice that you will find. Yes. Okay. That is it. Mm -hmm. When you are going to use man manure. Yes. But I don't advocate for. Thank you for bringing up. I don't advocate for manure, okay? Because they are not readily available, okay? Manure will be readily available like after one year. You see? So, but probably for those that have uh, processed, sometimes sometimes we have farmers that have already processed and ready to use. It depends. Yeah. If they are ready, that is why you have added value. Yes. If you have added value mm -hmm. and they are readily available to yes. the plant, mm -hmm. you can use. Okay. That is it. But you cannot just bring the manure, pour in the shamba, yes. plant, and expect results. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is it. So, either. But the first thing is rooting. Mm -hmm. And the essential nutrient in rooting is phosphorus. Yes. Okay. That was my point. So, after you've planted, uh, after 30 days, the plant will shoot up. Well, depending with whatever crop it is. Depending Several days, the lifespan forever. Of the crop. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is it. So, after you've planted, the crop will sprout, get leaves. So that I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking the farmer's rule a general. Okay. So it depends. A general crop nutrition. Yes. But now finally, we'll also come back to scale down into different crops. Maybe, maybe at some point yes. we will have to scale to back to maybe it's tomatoes, 
there's a spray program for tomatoes. Yes, yes. There's a spray program for onions, mm. watermelons. Yes. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Yes. So we are going to talk about a general crop nutrition program. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. So after planting with phosphorus, of course you get the roots. After the rooting, now you require the plant to to sprout mm. and get leaves. Yes. That is why I, I normally tell my farmers after getting the roots, what next? What do you require? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the next thing you require for any crop after planting is the leaves. We normally call the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That is the kitchen of a plant. That is where everything happens. Okay. Yeah. So we require the leaves after planting. Okay. So when you plant and uh, after some times you require the leaves. That is why I want to tell you the the requirement, the, the vegetative requirements. requirement. Mm -hmm. So what we normally call vegetative it is actually nitrogen. Okay. So, so. Yeah. It is actually nitrogen. That was very important. Yes. We we have planted, we have grown roots. Yes. Now we are on the leaves. Leaves are very, very essential in terms of manufacturing for food plants. Okay. So the second thing after phosphorus is nitrogen for the crop to initiate leaves. So you spray your nitrogen, of course, of course the leaves will blow out and manufacture food. Okay? Yeah. The third step, the stage, when the plant has a lot of leaves, it requires a lot of food. Yes. Okay? It really requires a lot of food and it requires supplementation. You should supplement because the, the phosphorus you planted, may, maybe it had uh, nitrogen and potassium, but not enough. So this is where you come, you supplement your, food, your, your, your crop. Yes. Because it is manufacturing a lot of food, it has a lot of leaves because of nitrogen, so it requires a balanced diet. That seed is called heavy feeding. It's heavy feeding. That plant is feeding heavily. Okay? Yes. So, you come with a balanced nutrient. We, we normally recommend 24, 24, 18. That is balanced. It has all the nitrogens. Because the plant is now heavy feeding. Okay? Yes. So, you, require, you are required to give it a balanced diet. Okay? So, after that, I can also ask you, when the plant has grown leaves, it's heavy feeding, it's fed well, okay? What next do you require? The next thing is fruiting and flowering. You start with flowering. Mm -hmm. you fruit. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing mm -hmm. is you require flowers. Mm -hmm. Okay? You require flowers. So in flowering, fruiting and flowering, that is what we call it. Yes. Yes. That stage of fruiting and flowering, you require boron and zinc. Why boron and zinc? Boron is responsible to prevent what we call flower abortion. Zinc initiates flowers. Okay? Yeah. It initiates flowering. Okay? So, especially crops like beans, which require flowers, like tomatoes, that require flowers, it is very important at that stage to spray boron together with zinc. zinc. We normally go together boron and zinc. Okay? Yeah. And at that stage, the, flower, the, the crop will now start flowering because of zinc mm -hmm. and the prevention of flower abortion because you already have a boron. Okay? Yes. Are you following the steps? Yes. And after that, there's a very important point I, 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 I need to make, especially 
for farmers for crops that are fruiting. Okay. Yeah. You know there are, there are crops that are tubers. Eh? I mean the, like tomatoes. Mm-hmm. You require fruits. Okay. Mm-hmm. And normally farmers and when the fruits are already there. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that is wrong. Okay. And this is the reason. After spraying boron and zinc. Actually, it's very important to combine both of them. To combine boron zinc plus calcium. And calcium goes with magnesium. Eh? Yes. When you buy something, when you buy calcium, it, it normally has magnesium. This is because, because calcium is transported in chain. And it is very slow. It will take time. Yes. So when a farmer sprays calcium, at the end, it goes to waste. Okay? Yeah. It is taken up slowly. That is why calcium needs need to come at some stage. And the best stage is to spray boron zinc plus calcium. calcium. Okay? Because it is slow. It is taken up slowly. It's yeah. a chain. If you, if you did chemistry, it is a chain. Yes. It goes in a chain. So it will take a long time. Okay? Yeah. So at that stage, after spraying boron zinc for flower initiation, you will need calcium. Okay? Yes. You would need calcium. Don't come with calcium at the end. It will go to waste. Okay? Yeah. So after spraying calcium, boron zinc, you now have flowers. Okay? Yeah. You now have flowers. Flowers. The next thing, what is the next thing? Fruiting. 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 And fruiting, uh, fruiting, normally, what farmers do? It is commercialization. Okay? Yes. I'm talking to, as I said, most of the farmers nowadays are commercial farmers. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, we are looking at the market. The fruit is already there. Very healthy. Okay? Because mm-hmm. of the spray program. Eh? Yes. So, at the end, we are looking at the market. That is what we call fruit and flower. Mm-hmm. Yes. We are looking at the market. And the market requires quality. Okay? Yes. It requires quality in terms of color. Okay? Yeah. It should be appealing. It requires quality in terms of taste. Okay? Yeah. When you taste something, there's a taste for every fruit, eh? Yes. Yes. So, it requires taste. Color, it's appealing, so the buyer can, can really be attracted. Is attracted to, to yeah, buying. To that, mm-hmm. to your... To your Products. Uh, product. Yes. Yes. So, we addressed color. At the last stage, that is the last stage, eh? We are addressing color, taste, should be appealing, and touch. Okay, it should be smooth. If it's a fruit, mm-hmm. it, should, it should have a good shape. Yes, it should be exactly how it is expected to be. Yes. Mm-hmm. So at the last stage, that is where potassium comes. Okay. Yeah. So potassium normally potassium addresses color. Taste and shape. Okay? Yeah. What is the next step? Harvesting. Step the market. <laughs> <laughs> the next step is harvesting. <laughs> next step is, is harvesting. harvesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We take it to the market. Yes. So that is basically crop nutrition. Yes. Yes. I hope you yeah, so, um, followed step what, by step. What we are gathering, I believe all farmers are watching this and they can bear as witness that the main lesson for today was to take us through uh, nutrients availability, the nutrients that are required during different stages, stages of growth. Yes. Phosphorus for rooting, then nitrogen for vegetative growth, then we have um, boron and uh, zinc for flowering. Flowering and to prevent flower abortion. And to prevent flower abortion. That is very important. Yes, very yes. important. And, uh, and you combine with calcium. Calcium. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Calcium. Okay. I didn't speak about calcium. Calcium will prevent at the last stage eh, on footing it. Eh? Yes. It will prevent what we call end rot. Yes. Okay. And calcium. The other role of calcium is to harden. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. If it's a if it's a, a fruit like a tomato, a fruit like a watermelon, mm -hmm. it will not burst. Yes. It will harden and increases the shelf life. Okay. Yes. So it increases the shelf life. Actually, it, it addresses market, the market. Okay? Yes. If you buy something that is that doesn't have culture, it will take long to either rot, yes. burst, something like that. Okay. So th those are the functions of culture. I'm sorry, I, I skipped. Yes. 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 Okay, that is very good. Uh, it's also very important that our farmers realize that. Uh, before you start uh, making decisions on what, what fertilizers to use in your farm, you need to do soil sampling so that you're advised by the technical people in terms of uh, soil samples. They'll be able to advise you on uh, your soil requirements. That is why you're able to determine the levels of fertilizers that you'll do in your farm so that you're not just planting, so that you're not just using fertilizers because every other farmer is using fertilizer. So we advocate for soil sampling. We have different... Uh, professionals that are into that uh, into that um, soil sampling yes. and uh, we believe they do a good job and it is very important and, and it is a priority for you to do it's actually a constant eh? yes. before you start this spring program yes it's a constant that you have to do soil sampling so that you are advised professionally on the because every farm is different we cannot talk about my farm that i'll be using dap npk and all those things and you also copy paste what I'm doing. You need to, you as an independent, it is advised that you do soil sampling so that you're able, the professionals are able to advise you on the type of fertilizers to use. Otherwise, um, yes, that's it. You have something else you, have, you can do as a summary? A summary of the spray, yes? Yeah? Uh, I want you to do as a summary of um, requirements for crop nutrition. Rooting? Rooting for stress. Vegetative, nitrogen, flowering, we need boron and zinc, fruiting. together with calcium. Eh? Yes, 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 yes. Fruiting, fruiting, potassium. Uh, what else? You that is it. You finished. You a plant is like a human being, eh? as I had said yes, earlier. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It will only take what it requires. Okay. It will only eat what it requires at that moment. When it's satisfied, the rest go to waste. Yes. That is why I advocate for farmers also, apart from hormones, to look for slow release fertilizer. Appreciate your presence. We really appreciate uh, your well elaborate um, topic for crop nutrition. We hope to see you next time. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Also hit the notification button so that you're able to get a notification on the different topics that we'll be discussing next. I really appreciate your presence here. Please put down in the comment below what you want us to discuss about next time. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much.